You have got to be fucking kidding me. Like, oh my god, Roman Reigns. He Apparently, he's not a good guy. He's not a bad guy. But he is the guy who just got suspended from WWE for violating the fucking wellness policy. I'm on my lunch break right now. As you can see, this isn't my regular get up. I got home on my damn lunch break. I just happened to go on the computer before I go make my grilled chicken wrap and I see somebody make a joke about Roman Reigns on Twitter and I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. And I go to WWE.com. Sure enough, the big ass headline, the featured story on WWE.com. Here we go. WWE has suspended Roman Reigns for 30 days, effective immediately, for his first violation of the company's talent wellness policy. Reigns issued a statement on Twitter regarding his suspension, and I quote, I apologize to my family, friends, and fans for my mistake in violating WWE's wellness policy. No excuses. I own it. I'm sitting here right now as one of those fans that Roman Reigns just apologized to, and I honestly feel... Like, I've been had, I've been took, hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, because I'm wondering, for a guy like Roman Reigns, not even a guy like Roman Reigns, for Roman Reigns, the position that he was in in WWE, what the fuck were you attempting to accomplish here? You were being pushed as a top guy in the company. What were you trying to gain beyond that? Like, were you... Like, and, and I don't know what he did. You know, the people are throwing out the terms juicing and steroids. I'm not even going to attempt to assume what it was. But I mean, the proof is in the goddamn pudding. Like, I don't know exactly what it was, but I know he didn't goof. He fucked up. So that's the whole thing. Like, I don't understand why you in a position that you were in in WWE that you would take a risk like this that will crumble everything that was fucking built for you everything that was given to you like what were you trying to accomplish beyond being pushed as a top guy in the fucking company were you lobbying to break bruno's record with the wwe championship shit were you on some stuff because you wanted to win the women's championship too like i i don't know like what what why who what when where how I don't understand, and I'm just going to let you guys know, as a warning, a caution, whatever it may be, I literally read this story like two minutes before I turned this damn camera on, so if I sound like I'm rambling, incoherent, not making any sense at all, it's because I'm processing all of this stuff in real time, like I don't have to tell you guys, I'm a fucking huge Roman Reigns fan, I've been pulling for that guy for so long in WWE through all of the BS, just hoping that he comes out on the better end of it. And when I finally feel as if we're in a position right now where he has come out on the better end of it, I'm liking the way that the guy is portrayed on TV and things like that, and his character is set. Some shit like this happens. And let's go ahead and talk about all of those trials that Roman Reigns has gone through in WWE with the crowd and his booking and stuff like that, I'm going to call a spade a spade. As a Roman Reigns fan, I can sit here and say there's a whole lot of shit that has been given to that guy in WWE that people who have been in the company longer than he has have not even gotten half of. And you have to wonder, like, being a person that has sat, sat through all of that, being a person that has witnessed what the company company has done for Roman Reigns with their very strong backing of him, like, what are some of the guys behind the scenes thinking when they see Roman Reigns and they see that WWE was intent on building Roman Reigns to be a star once again I'll say as a Roman Reigns fan I know that it was not a situation where WWE looked at Roman Reigns and said okay we're gonna try this guy out at the top oh shit some bullshit happened we're gonna pull you back put you to the back of the line and it's now someone else's time to step up they were intent on making this guy a fucking star. When he failed in certain elements, they reassessed the situation, pushed him back there, and said, okay, well, let's try it again. And that has happened many, 
many times. And there are folks in the company in WWE where we look at them and we look at them like they're talented. They don't get in trouble with shit like this. And we don't know for sure what their temperament is like backstage and who they are and the relationship that they have to the powers that be in WWE. But we see and we judge based off of what we assess of that person. They're hardworking. They're talented. They don't get fucking wellness policy violations. And they're not getting half the chances that this guy has gotten. So you kind of have to sit there and wonder, even if that's not necessarily fair for Roman Reigns, shit, it's not as if you can have those thoughts and say, okay, well, I'm turning that part of my brain off. Yeah, I, this is the way that I think, but because it's not rational or maybe because it's not fair, let me go ahead and flip that switch off. It doesn't fucking work that way. And going back to the tweet that he said, him, him apologizing to the fans, I know that this is a personal decision that Roman Reigns made. So it's going to affect him in a personal way. You got you have to wonder how is it going to affect him from a, you know, a pay point of view, his the, the money that he's getting from WWE, what is going to be the story of Roman Reigns, who is this guy going to be in the hierarchy in WWE after he you know gets back from his suspension? That all affects him. When Roman Reigns doing steroids or whatever the fuck he did, the fact that I know he violated the WWE wellness policy, he fucked up some way, somehow, serious enough to a point where he got a 30-day suspension for it. Um, It doesn't affect me in a sense that my lights are going to stay on. My bills are going to continue to be paid. Shit, my internet is on. My camera is working on nice. This little iMac, it's up, it's running, you know, high capacity, all of that good shit. Like, it's not going to affect me in that sense, but... I can't help but feel a little offended. And once again, I'll say that you can tell me that I don't have the right to be offended. You can tell me that it's not my place to be offended. You can tell me that it's not rational for me to be offended in that sense. But once again, if that's something that I feel as a fucking Roman Reigns fan who has been down in the trenches for this dude, I can't just flip that off and say, okay, well, it doesn't make sense, so... Go ahead and turn it off because that's exactly how I fucking feel right now. And it's like so deflating. It really is. And I don't know, like, um, once again, I'm not even going to fucking apologize for this video being incoherent or not making sense if that's what it actually was because it is what it is. Um, I'm, you know, this is what I'm feeling right now. My brain is like, bow, 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 jumping all over the damn place. But maybe I'll have some time to collect my thoughts and deliver a more cohesive message um, later on today for PWF Empire Live. But I just had to jump on camera and give you guys my thoughts um, on this. And now this motherfucker then fucked up my lunch, too. It's almost time for me to go back to work. I'm not even going to get a chance to eat. See, so, yeah, I'm offended now. It did affect me personally. I'm going to be hungry for the rest of the fucking day because you, Roman Reigns, you fucked up. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I just have to add some humor on to it because this is a real fucked up situation. But yeah, guys, ooh, I'm sweating in here. Uh, I'm out. Peace.